Hi families, it's Mrs. Kubica. Today I'm going over a three digit plus three digit addition equation that has regrouping in it. A lot of the times my students like to draw a hundreds, tens, and ones chart to keep all their place values organized and it also helps with regrouping. In the number 462, looking in my hundreds place, I have four hundreds. So I'll draw them here under H because that stands for hundreds. I have six tens, so I'll draw six tens under T, which stands for tens. And I have in my ones place two ones. I'm going to draw it under this O, stands for ones. Now since I'm adding, I'm not going to cross anything out. I'm going to start adding more to my chart. I know I have 100. I have eight tens, and I have nine ones. All right, now we're gonna start regrouping. In order to regroup, we need 10 of something. So if I have 10 ones, I can turn it into a 10. If I have 10 tens, I can turn it into a 100. Same thing, if I have 10 hundreds, I can eventually turn it into a 1,000 in third grade, fourth grade, up in the higher levels. But right now we're focusing on hundreds, tens, and ones up to 1,000. So I see in my hundreds place that I have five hundreds. I don't need to regroup, but I don't know for sure if I have five hundreds yet. So I'm not going to write anything. In my tens, it looks like I have more than ten, but I'm going to count just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do. There's a couple ways that you can do this. I never like to erase them because you always want to show what you did and if you erase it then there's no way to show that so i like to draw either a box around it like this and draw an arrow that goes over to my hundreds place because this shows that i regrouped these 10 tens into 100. i'm going to see if i can regroup again i can't because there's four now i'm going to go over to my ones i'm pretty sure i can regroup but i'm going to count just in case one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, and it looks like I have one extra there, two. So, same thing. I'm showing that I'm regrouping by drawing in my box with an arrow, and I'm going to add one ten. Now I can officially count how many I have. So I know I have one, one. I have one, two, three, four, five tens, which would be equal to fifty. And I also have one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds, which would be equal to six hundred. So now I see that my number is six hundred plus fifty plus one. So the sum of four hundred sixty-two plus one hundred eighty-nine is six hundred fifty-one. Please let me know if you have any questions.